Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local and not so local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and this time we're back at a little known gem called Horse Trailer Hideout in the downtown arts district of Las Vegas to catch Howling at the Moon, a Pigeon Hat Collective live show featuring a lot of Room 6 alumni and a guest band from Portland, Oregon. This one was an outdoor show, so it really would have been nice. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's here! Look what came! Woohoo! Guess what showed up? My official Room 6 camera crew shirt. <laughs> Designed it myself, I did. And on the front, well, we've got... <laughs> but that's not what's really important. As I was saying, what would have been nice at this outdoor show uh, would have been something like this. And something... Like this. But I've got them for next time. And if you want to look cool when it's cool, go ahead and go over to room6.shop, pick up some merch after this video. And speaking of cold, you know the real MVP of last night's show? This guy. This video is brought to you by Potato Parcel. Yes, you heard that right. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. As I said in the intro, this show featured a lot of Room 6 guests, including Pigeon Hat Collective, who put on the show. Even part of the audio team has been here. In actuality, every act that performed has been on the channel, with the exception of the band from Oregon. And uh, they'll be on in the future, so stay tuned. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description, or click on the Room 6 social media link, find me online. That's also where you can find ways to support the channel, like room6.shop, maybe buying one of my CDs, or become a patron on the patron. It all helps. Thanks. I've done a separate review of Horse Trailer Hideout in another video. Uh, if you're interested, you can check it out when you're done here. Now then, on to the review. Kicking things off was the amazingly talented AJ Facillo, fellow podcaster and frontman for Wyatt and the Ashes. Wasting no time, AJ immediately hyped the growing crowd up with an emotional and high-energy set of both original and cover music. Continuously breaking the fourth wall and getting right in the mix and getting everyone involved in the act, he blasted through song after song and did a strong job of opening the show. Up next were the out-of-town guests, known as Heaven Skate from Portland, Oregon. Love that name. This quirky group somehow successfully blended skate rock, punk rock, country rock, and songs that they swore were cover songs. They actually only played one cover. Bringing a fun bit of pageantry to the event, they started off making a grand entrance through the crowd, Monty Python style, utilizing such instruments as a triangle and coconuts. All in all, their set kept everyone guessing as to what would come next, and they took the high energy torch that AJ had lit and ran with it. You know you're doing something right when this happens. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love? Surprise gifts. You know what I really love? Gifts that are clever, unexpected, and most of all, edible. But what the heck? Let's throw someone's face on it while we're at it. Potato Parcel is a service that allows you to send anyone a personalized message on a potato. Thinking of sending a birthday? Congrats, get well soon card? This is a quirky and hilarious alternative to the traditional card. Your friends, family, and others will get a kick out of it. Just for watching this video, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order by entering the coupon code TAKE10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Potato Parcel for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. The next batter up was Cat Calling with the unenviable The next batter up was Cat Calling with the unenviable job of following a full band all alone. Fortunately, Cat's a pro and handily grabbed that torch I mentioned earlier and kept things moving, engaging the crowd with soulful and passionate songs about topics like heartbreak, moving on, and basically covering the emotional spectrum. Cat got the audience involved and alternated between playing guitar and singing to a track. We got treated to some new stuff as well, and uh, all in all, Cat did a great job setting the stage for the headliners of the night. That would be Trash Animals, a band whose sound is as singular as its members. That just ain't right! 
Performing some old stuff and some new stuff, they definitely drew the biggest crowd of the night. With multiple influences and utilizing various media, the band proceeded to put on a clinic in creating multiple layers within their music. Their sound ebbed and flowed between chill-out vibes and head-banging moments, and their set was a great way to finish out a great night of live music and musical friends. Overall, Howling at the Moon at Horse Trailer Hideout was a smash hit of a show, and I'm so glad I was invited to go. If you haven't already, make sure you use the social media handles down in the description for all the acts mentioned and for Pigeon Hat Collective. Um, yeah, follow them, find out where they're playing next. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll check out everything that Pigeon Hat Collective and its members do by using the social media handles down there. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click up there. It really does make a difference. Please ring the bell so you get notified when I post new stuff. And if you want to hear music from me, click over there. By the way, you may notice I'm wearing a shirt from a Room 6 Rocks showcase I did last summer. Mark your calendars. If you're watching this now, thank you very much for sticking around. You get special early access to this information. May the 6th, Hennessy's Tavern. Save the date. Thanks. Other than that, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.